everybody. <coughs> okay, well, hello everybody. My name is Sonia Tomiata. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in Italy right now, but this video is going to be a vlog of my last week at university in the UK. Hope you enjoy. We're about to go brunch. for our bottomless brunch. So basically here in Nottingham, many people go for this thing called the bottomless brunch. You go and eat your like food, but then it comes with like unlimited amount of cocktails. So it's quite expensive. It's like 30 pounds, but then you have four cocktails and like the money's already like worth it. Yeah. But how much are we going for? We're going to try eight to 10 cocktails in one like two hour session. I will bring my camera with me and we'll see how it goes. And we'll see you later. We're like dying. We're just pretending to be happy. <laughs> Social media is so fake. I'm telling you. <laughs> Welcome to Sonia's vlog. She's eating a small. Yeah. We have the bad one. Nice. Oh no. How is it? Ratings out of ten. Yeah, six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> I was leaving it for effect. <laughs> it makes it look more authentic. Leaving it for effect. We have to go pick up my sister up from the train station, but the tram doesn't work, so now we are late. Are you happy to be back? Today's been like a weird morning. I was about to call the ambulance because my sister like woke up with like these crazy like pains on the side of her stomach. But I think it was just like um a very intense muscle cramp, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are going ice skating today and next week on Tuesdays we're leaving Nottingham to go to Italy to start our summer. So this is basically the last week in Nottingham, which is where I go to uni. And my sister is here visiting for the week. So we're just gonna take you around to the things that we do. Happy Thursday. It is like 7.25 in the morning and today's activity is Alton Towers, which is an amusement park about an hour and a half away from where we are. I'm really tired as you can tell from my voice, but I have to make lunch for me and my sister so that we don't have to spend money when we're there. We have a bunch of like different snacks and we're gonna make like a salami sandwich or something like that. I'm not too sure yet, but then there's like fruit. Who's going is me, my sister, my friend Lehia, and then my other friend who goes to the uni of Nottingham called Rachel. So we're meeting her at the train station. <laughs> and then they see that on the thing. Okay, so this is like a quick run through of like most of the things we're making. I'm making these sandwiches. They don't look that good, but I promise they actually taste really good. Some of my sister wants donuts, some crisps, some cookies. We have carrots and hummus, some cereal bars, and then these are like really huge, huge grapes. They're really big. This is literally what I look like right now. Waiting for an Uber. I think you look fine. Oh. <laughs> It's for her, it's <laughs> so pretty though. Don't you run to your classes every day? No, guys, it's 
so far. Good. I'm sorry. Maya, go. Are you gonna break? Okay. Yeah, he's dead. And it's closed. We have resorted to sitting by a castle. Literally chilling by a castle. Those trees look like pears down there. <laughs> Where? Do they do though? <laughs> like how? in the park <laughs> just died happy Saturday Saturday Saturday, Saturday. Happy Saturday! <laughs> I got my first dose of my vaccine. Low key, I was pretty like scared, and I think I acted scared as well. So like the nurse kept asking me if I'm okay and if I want to be taken to like a private room. But yeah, I am first dose vaccinated. If you were wondering what you might look like the day after your vaccine, this is it. This is. Ugh. Let me switch to my good arm. This is what you might look like. I had my vaccine on like my right arm and I was okay last night. Like I was able to go to sleep fine, like no pain basically. Um, and I woke up not able to move my arm. So that's amazing. And today I have to do so much packing. I need to pack up all my kitchen stuff, carry a bunch of boxes. I also have to do my testing kit that I have at home and put it in my post box. And I also am. Um, going out tonight what a lovely day to have only one arm functioning <coughs> and we're done <coughs> bless you <coughs> look at this box what the hell what is going on here what are these long things for? Uh-huh. You do a COVID test, you think the job is done, and then you're here spending 20 minutes trying to make the box for it. And we've done it. Done. Empty room. I promise it looks nice when it's like decorated. Are you excited to go? Yeah. <laughs> We're just sitting, waiting for our Uber. <laughs> <laughs> 